Here in the offices of the Old Farmer's Almanac in Dublin, New Hampshire, there's a small black box about the size of a shoebox, and inside, I'm told, are notes on the formula for making the forecast. Nobody's let me see that. Secret. It's a secret what's in there. <laughs> it's just part of the legend. Yeah, that black box has been around since, since I've been here. And uh, my uncle, Rob Sagendorf, who purchased the Old Farmer's Almanac in 1939, I think he inherited that black box. So how far back it actually goes, if it goes to Robert B. Thomas, who founded the Old Farmer's Almanac in 1792, I'm not sure, but it's old. <laughs> Seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven. Four thousand nine, four thousand ten, four thousand eleven. Ninety-four thousand sixteen. Ninety-four thousand seventeen. Seven hundred sixty-six thousand fourteen. Yeah, I think you're right. That looks like a squirrel's nest, all right. I haven't seen what's inside the box. It's locked, and I'm not sure that anybody can get it open anymore. Inside there is a lot of information. A lot of my uncle's scribblings are in there, and his interpretation of what Robert B. Thomas, how he did the weather forecasting, it's in there. I've never seen those notes. The, lo the box is locked, and. I've never opened it. Nobody to my knowledge has ever seen those notes. But I can tell you that today, making our, in the past several years, of course, for several decades, we've been using all the latest satellite data for making our forecasts. And we use three scientific disciplines. Seven hundred... What? Now you tell me?